In addition to reviewing these examples, let's make sure we don't have any common misconceptions by checking our understanding. In fact, let's check our friend's understanding. Our friend has just learned about assignment statements just like us and our friend has done some experiments. Firstly, in the REPL, our friend has uh, calculated what the type of 7 is and no surprise, that's an int. Then they've used this 7, this object, integer object, as part of an expression and 7 plus 1 is 8. So our friend knows just like we do that integer objects, just like any other objects, have a certain type and they have a certain value and we can do some computation with that value. But now our friend is comparing this experiment on the REPL with this experiment on the REPL. Now the only difference is here we've started with an assignment statement x is equal to 7. By the way, notice in the REPL when we put an assignment statement, when we press enter, nothing gets printed because it's just assigning some object, the one that was evaluated on the right hand side, with this label. There is no value associated with an assignment statement. So this, that no, no value shows up here. Now our friend calculates the type of x and it says class int. That's very similar to calculating type of 7 which was also class int. And our friend does something similar to 7 plus 1. They do x plus 1 and that produces an answer 8. So here is what our friend starts thinking. When they're looking at this code they say you know what a variable is basically an object. Just like an object has a type, a variable has a type. And just like an object has a value, a variable has a value. So I'd like you to pause and think about this and let's see if we can critically examine the misconception behind our friend's way of thinking. 